Hi, today I'm going to talk about one way I teach time to my kindergarten students. Uh, the first thing I do is uh, find a clock that's got second hand, um, minute hands, and hour hands, obviously. Um, the next thing I do is I mark off the minutes um, by the, well, the designated minute part, right? Um, so that my kids can see when we're counting, we're ca we count by fives, we count the minutes. Um, it also makes it easier for them when they're first learning. So that's one thing we do and we practice first. Um, we'll just go around and count by fives. So you kind of need to know how to count by fives first. So we'll count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. And then I tell them the double zero at the top means o'clock. That means the top of the hour. Um, the next thing I talk about is how a clock is divided. If you go from the 12 to the 6, each side represents a half an hour or 30 minutes. Um, if you divide it from top to bottom and then across, then each quarter means 15 minutes. And when someone says it's a quarter past 12, that means it's in a 15 minute increment, which is probably the hardest skill for them. The first thing I teach always is by the hour. And so what I'll do is um, I'll maneuver the hand. So for example, I'll talk about the big hand is oh, points to the minutes. So right now it's pointing to the 12, so it's o'clock. The little hand is the hour hand. It moves slower than the minute hand and it will tell you the hour. So you always say the hour first and then the minutes. And then finally, um, you have this r long red hand, which is the second hand, which moves the fastest for the kids to watch. And um, it's you don't say it when you read the time, but it's good for them to judge t amount of time, like how long is a minute. So I would have them start it, you know, when the red hand, second hand gets to the 12, I'd say, okay, let's watch it. We're gonna watch that red hand go around for 60 seconds because 60 seconds equal one minute. But again, the first thing I do is I teach time to the hour. So I'll say, okay, now we'll look at this. The little hand is pointing to one, so I'll say one first. And the big hand is pointing to the top of the hour, the 12, so that means it's o'clock. So what time is it? It's one o'clock. And then I'd have the kids repeat. We'll go this way. So I'll do it again. I'll show it. What time is it now? Let's look, we'll look. The little hand's pointing to the two. The big hand is pointing to the top of the hour, o'clock, 12. So it is two o'clock. So that's how one way that I teach time to my kindergarten students.